What's up guys? Welcome to another Maker Monday. How are you all doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm knocking stuff over while I'm at it. Okay, today on Maker Monday, we're gonna go over a couple things. Um, I'm actually gonna show you something that's actually pretty cool uh, that I found, picked up off of the good old eBay, or as some YouTubers call it, Flea Bay. <laughs> anyway, because it is, it's like a giant flea market. Anyway, guys, um, those of you that caught the live stream, that was awesome. That wasn't technically the official live stream. I just, I needed some test subjects. I needed to test that out. And uh, there was a few people that were available at that time. I literally just threw that out there because I was like, well, I'm going to test all my live stream uh, settings since I'm using streaming software. So I figured I'd set that all up and everything. Oh, I almost forgot. We need to set the... Uh, the whole timer thing so let's get our timer started so i don't go over so anyway there we go um anyway did that live stream that was actually a lot of fun i enjoyed every single one of you not a whole lot of people were able to join i'm sure because it was just sporadic i just threw it out there and was like oh by the way in about 30 minutes i'm gonna live stream just so i can get my settings down and it was actually a pretty fun time we talked about a few things and whatnot if you haven't uh caught it you can check it out it's uh it's on the channel um but it's it was pretty cool. I think I'll. I think I'm gonna really enjoy the live stream stuff. I think it's gonna be great if we can get a time picked out. So far, the running a little update on the form. Those of you that have not filled out the form, please do so. You can enter. It will. It will enter you to win a Wi-Fi enabled relay. Just telling you. I got my friends at IC Station sent this to me, and I want to send it to one of you. So definitely uh, fill out that form, and you'll get that. Heck, I may even throw one of the USB inspectors in too. You know, you never know. I like giving stuff away. It's fun, uh, especially when it's uh, stuff that you know is all built on the funding and the likes and the subscriptions and everything from you guys because that's what makes it so much fun. Is I can actually, uh, it's it's kind of like a self-fulfilling hobby. You know, it's just great. The time and effort I put into this and the money and the watches and the likes that you guys put back in just allows me to put more right back into it and send it right back out. And so it is, it's, it's fantastic. It's lots of fun. So keep doing that. Uh, like I said, do that form because I guarantee you, you'll enter you to win one of these. Um, got some other stuff coming. Uh, maybe we'll do some other contests and whatnot. We will do the drawing for this on the live stream. Once I get it scheduled, I was going to stop right here and probably, um, go ahead and pick the day and the time, but I think I'll give it another week because I'm, I'm not really ready to print all that out and go through that, but it looks like what's trending right now is uh, the nine o'clock p.m. Central Daylight Time, because now we're in daylight time because I'm in Central, so it looks like 9 p.m. Central Time uh, has been uh, liked, as well as it's tied right now. It's tied between, uh, I believe it's m Monday, don't want to say Monday, or no, Wednesday and Sunday. So I'm needing some tiebreakers, so I need you guys to go in there, otherwise I'll just pick one of those two days, I don't know, I'll flip a coin or something. Either way, it's uh, up to you guys. Please get on there, please fill out that form. Also, if you want to leave an idea for what to cover on the channel, leave an idea, it'll be fantastic. So anyway, now onward to uh, what I purchased. I purchased, if you, those of you that are on the live stream or if you caught the, the recording of the live stream, you'll see that I literally purchased these guys. These guys are very slick. I have uh, purchased three of these. Um, they're, they're very inexpensive. They're on eBay. They are a Bluetooth module. They're actually a three watt uh, DAC out. Um, and they, yeah, they're slick. They got a little JST header on them, uh, and they're two channel for left and right, uh, for speakers. Um, and it's five volt operated. It's got a little micro, uh, USB on there so you can power it off of five volts. Um, and like I said, it's three Watts, so it'll run a, a pretty, pretty good speaker. You know, it's got some pretty good, pretty good sound and the sound quality is amazing. Now I have one on the bench here that I'm going to show you guys. What's great about these is you can just pair it to your phone and then Bingo, bango, bongo, you got your own Bluetooth speaker right here. It's the receiver and everything for Bluetooth. You don't have to, you don't even have to program it. You just plug it in and it works. It's fantastic. So I want to show you guys, I'll probably be making some cool stuff out of this, but I kind of wanted to demo it real quick, uh, how it works uh, during Maker Monday today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing the camera over here. We're going to look at the bench. I literally took a speaker that I found in a birthday card. 
I had a birthday card that was old and the batteries had died in it. You know what I'm talking about, those birthday cards that sing. And I tore the speaker out of it and that's literally what I'm using here. And even though the sound quality is ex not exactly, you know, awesome CD quality sound, still you can make the words out and it does pretty well. It's kind of amazing. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to order some actual uh, good speakers for it and see what, uh, what it can do. So in any case guys, I'm gonna swing the camera around and we'll take a peek at it on the bench. Be back in just a minute. Okay guys, so like I said, I got this thing just plugged up. Now what I did was I bridged it um, I don't know, those of you that, that are audio people, you, you can do that. If you have something that's two channel, you can actually bridge it and get a uh, single channel. And that makes me think, that three watts, I don't know if that's total or if that's uh, three watts per channel. I'm not real sure. Usually when you bridge something, it usually doubles that, but I, I'm not real sure on these. I'd have to look up the data sheet again. But basically what you do is you take the positive of your speaker. Let's see if I can get it close enough we can see it. I don't know, is it gonna actually show? Yes, it is. You take the positive of your speaker to the left channel positive and the negative of your speaker to the right channel positive. That's all, all you gotta do. And that should, should, I literally just hooked this up so I, don't, I could have it backwards. But that should take care of it. Now all you have to do is plug it in and it should, I think this one beeps at you. Yep, dum dum. Basically the sound you get, I don't know if I can get this wire to lay down and play nice. Anyway, so there we go. So now all I got to do is bring up my phone. See, I was looking up the deal and I got to go to my Bluetooth. Yes, we got s severe thunderstorms. Uh, let's do, we're going to go to, can you guys see that? Okay, we're, I'm going to go to my more settings. I have an Android phone, by the way. It's going to scan. I've got, it looks like X special audio is I think what it comes up with. I'm going to go ahead and pair it. And you hear, I don't know if you heard the sound, but it went blink. So now, theoretically, I can grab a song. Let's see, let me grab something that's rocky. I gotta be careful because YouTube will probably flag this if I play too much of it. But uh, yeah, let's play something. Let's do, uh, yeah, let's do this. Wait, let's do something that's louder. There we go. You hear it? Okay, I can't play too much of that because I'll get a strike for, for copyright infringement. But anyway, basically, <laughs> that's that's literally all you have to do. Literally, that, that that's it. You plug it in, hook a speaker to it, voila, you get Insta Insta uh, uh, music or or sound or whatever. So you could use these. <clears throat> excuse me on like a Raspberry Pi, shoot sound effects to it, shoot uh, whatever you want to it. Uh, it's just it, the, you know, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little deal. So anyway, so I wanted to let you guys know that, uh, that this thing does exist. I'll try to put a link down in the description for you. So let's uh, flip the camera back and we'll finish up. Okay, so that's basically uh, the little Bluetooth uh, guy, like I said, I'll probably put a link down in the description so you guys can check these phenomenal little things out. They're very well made. <clears throat> Looking at them, um, I don't see any bad solder joints or anything like that. They're they're pretty darn uh, clean and uh, nice. They're actually quite a nice little little device, and they're that easy to put together. No programming, no nothing. You just hook it up, pair it to your phone once it's powered, and off you go. So guys, um, that's probably going to be about it for the time that we have together for this Maker Monday. But please, like I said, go down in the description here, go to that form, enter that information. I'm gonna leave it up for another week and then probably next Maker Monday. So hopefully next week I can get one out. Next Maker Monday we will take and uh, decide what day and what time we're gonna have our uh, live stream on, the official live stream and um, we'll put together some stuff. I was thinking, I got quite a few comments on things. A lot of people said they liked the, uh, the idea of putting together a, uh, putting together a, 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 a whole deal where I would put something together, maybe assemble something or build something. Especially I had a lot of likes on the idea of doing the Alexa Pi. I even got a comment, I'm gonna have to check that, uh, I think that they might have updated the Alexa Pi, uh, uh, repository or whatever and so maybe my my way of doing it is antiquated now if so then this will be a great time to to go through that we'll go through uh, the setup again and if it's any different we'll just fumble bumble along uh, with it I would like to try to keep the live stream to an hour 
That may or may not happen, depending on how many questions I get and things like that, because we filled an hour like that with uh, with just the Bumble Along one, where I was just trying to set up my settings. We got to talking about you know the Raspberry Pi, and I was talking about the Alexa app and Home Assistant and things like that. Um, if you haven't watched it, you can check the video out. But uh, I mean, it, to me, it seemed like it went by like that. I mean, it was just it was really fast, it was an hour. So you know, it, it may it may go longer. So I will try to keep it to an hour. But let me know what you think. Put that down in the comments. You know, is, is an hour, you know, plenty or is that too much? Is, is more okay? I mean, I don't know. I've, I've never done these live streams before, so we'll see how it goes. Well, anyway, guys, that is probably about the max of our time. Uh, just about. We got a couple of minutes left. Um, I don't think there's anything else other than uh, check that out. We'll check out the live stream. I will create an event. And those of you, oh, I wanted to remind you, down in wherever, it, I think it's over here, down here, um, there is the subscribe button. Press it if you haven't already, that way you can catch all the cool content. But other than that, next to it, once you are subscribed, you will get a little gear icon, okay? Down down over here, I think it's, I think it's down here if I remember right. Um, press that little gear and check mark the alerts. Uh, that way you will get alerted, you will get an email, and if you have it enabled on your Android or iPhone, you will get a push notification that will let you know when I'm actually live streaming. And I believe there's a way I can send out, you know, maybe like 10, 15 minutes before it starts or 30 minutes before it starts, you know, a notifier that says we're gonna be going live in 30 minutes or something like that. I think I can do that. So press that, make sure and go down, down here um, to the subscribe button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already, but hit that gear and sign up for the uh, update. So that way you catch whenever I upload a video, you catch whenever, I think it's a way I can mass uh, send a message to you people. I saw I saw something like that, that maybe YouTube updated a thing where I can now send messages to you guys if you have that alerts check. If so, then that's gonna be great because I can, I can send you guys some stuff through YouTube. Um, because I know all uh, 7,000 of you are not on my Twitter. And that's another thing, sign up for me on Twitter. I'm at M-I-S-P-E-R-R-Y-E-E. -E. Go, click it, save it. That way you don't miss anything when I send updates out on my Twitter feed, okay? And Google Plus, um, if you're not uh, friends with me on Google Plus, add me, I will add you in. That way you don't miss it because I've bought software, well not bought it, but I've got software that will post on both, Google Plus and Twitter, so you won't miss anything, okay? So that's really all that I wanted to say. Guys, check that alert thing, fill out that form real quick. Literally takes like, I mean, literally probably less than a minute to fill that out. So put that in so that way I know what direction to go. And guys, take care and have a good week. And thank you for joining me on this Maker Monday. We will see you next time.